There we go, you should be able to see a little bit better. What's up, what's up? This the B-Long Show. You already know what I'm on. How you save your money. It's a 2013 Ford Taurus. My usual items for a brake job is socket set, C-clamp, screwdriver, and my trusty impact gun. Gonna get that car jacked up. You know how something behind, see that brake behind that front tire? Keep that car from rolling if that jack decide to make an exit while you're working. Your jack stand gonna save you if the car drop down and you're under it. Alright, so let's go ahead and get to it. Get this tire up off of here. 19 millimeter. Most of y'all probably already know that. You haven't invested in one of these guns, I'm telling you. It's just like a wireless microphone while you performing on stage. And you definitely know a beat you're trying to holler with no microphone. Invest. For those that work on cars, they know what that means. I'd have to come off that quick. All right, you see that? The tire won't come off. So imagine if this customer's on the side of the road and they ain't have a hammer in their car. They couldn't get their tire off. But I'm going to show you what to do in those cases. First of all, what we gotta do is get up under here and uh, get this tire off. So what I'm gonna do is transition this video from a brake job video to a how to get your tire off if the uh, tire stuck on the car. Be right back. All right, y'all, back to the brake job. So I can already tell this is the brake job that I hate, absolutely hate. I don't know why Ford do this, but this piston right here, you can't just push it back. You got to twist it and push it back. I hate it. So what I uh, would advise you to do so that you don't have to do what I'm about to do is rent the tube. Go to the parts store and rent the tube that you hook to this and twist it back. I'm going to do it an orthodox way, um, but I'll still show you. All right, so what we need to do, take these two bolts out. Once we take those two bolts out, uh, well, first we need to try to push this back just a little bit. Then we take them two bolts out, pull this off, take the pads off. So let's go ahead and get to it. Where my screwdriver go? There we go. Let's stick it down in there. You already know this if you watched any of my videos. Pull it back on that a little bit. You're not going to get a lot of action on these uh, because the way it's built. But you still need to try to just move it a little bit. All right, so I got a little hair. Now we get our little pocket set. Take that boat off. It's probably a 13. Let's check and see. Yeah, it's a 13. These should never be too hard. Sometimes this will start spinning. All you gotta do is stick your finger on there. If it's spinning a lot, somebody probably stripped the boat when they put it in there. And you're probably gonna have to buy a new, new uh, pin housing. That one's too close to this, so I got to get a little extension. For those that don't know, this is what the extension looked like. Yeah, I'm telling you stuff that if you ain't never did a brake job, what I, what I put together for you, these videos, you'll never have to be in there to brake job. You'll be able to do one just by watching this video. 
you run into a problem, put it in the comments. I'll check the comments, so I'll help you get that brake job done. Alright, so now we got those bolts out. Grab your trusty screwdriver, stick it under there, and just pry it up. You see that? And so, this is the thing that's the problem. This right here. Because you gotta twist it and push it at the same time. But, this one is kind of screwed up. Not kind of screwed, it's screwed up. Uh, it went so far at some point that it got too hot and uh, burnt the boot up. So I'm going to just grease this up because I know the customer don't want to buy a new one as long as this one is still working at all. And, uh, what I'm going to do is get my channel locks. I'm going to turn this, push it back, turn this, push it back. And I can do that by putting my um, C-clamp on there. And just keep working it back. All right, so I'm gonna quit talking now and just work. So like I told y'all, my method is unorthodox, but as you see, it works. Uh, either way it go, this is like one of the stupidest designs that Ford made when it comes to brakes. Like, it's like, why would you even do that? Why would you come up with that? Just leave it like the other ones where we can just push the piston back. You gotta twist it and push it back. Come on, that's ridiculous. But either way, it's done. Uh, so now what you want to do, you want to go ahead and remove your pads. You got a little hardware on them. And, uh, try to remove the pins too. Let's see if these froze or not. No, they're not froze, but they sure not loose as they should be. Let's try to get those out. See why they not loose? It's rusty. So we're going to grease that all up. But that make the brakes wear out faster because they can't just move freely. Move this out the way and get that other one off. See that brake hardware right there? 
you need to leave that on so the pads don't have to move back and forth against rest. You should have one on each uh, contact point. These is where that sit, that sit in there, like that. And you put that in, in there like that. And so, to put them back together, see that's one of those uh, hardware that I'm talking about. It just sit there like that. And so I try to break the slab back and forth on. And so, now that we got that done, all you do is get your uh, brake lubricant. Make sure it's brake lubricant. Don't use grease. Put your brake lubricant on all your contact points. Bam, bam. All over that, over this, and this. Put your pants back in. Make sure it's seated right. Lube these up. Same lube, brake lube. Lube them up. Put them back in. Don't fill these up with lube. Just, I'll show you before I turn this video off. You clean them up if you got something to clean them up with. Not like a grinding wheel or something. Clean them up. But uh, rub it on there like that. Get it all rubbed on there. But don't leave any excess. Like, don't leave a lump of it over here or none of that because when you put it back together, you won't be able to push this pin back down in the hole far enough for it to, uh, for the caliper to sit back down on there, right? And you'll be wondering what's wrong. And it'll just be because you didn't get all of the lube off of here, so it's stuck down in the hole. It's the B-Long Show, man. Save your money. <laughs>